Hey guys. Okay, today it is a very beautiful warm day outside. So we decided to make dinner for you guys outside in our backyard, right? Beautiful day, 70 degrees, wonderful day to have dinner outside or at least make it outside, right? Okay, let's get started. Come on, welcome to Brandon's Kitchen. And guys, our absolute favorite thing to put on the grill are rib tips. So I just cut them, guys, in small pieces in between the bone. And that's it. That's one. And just throw them in the pan. I'll do one more for you. And guys, these cooks, they cook up so wonderfully and tender. And we're going to put a rub on them after we're done. Yummy. Okay, I'm going to finish cutting these up. Wash them, yes, wash them. I just took them out of the pack, gotta wash them. Dry them and season them. We'll be right back. Okay guys, look at that beautiful dressed meat. I forgot to tell you that in addition to our beautiful rib tips, we're going to have some chicken wings. Okay, on the chicken wings guys, we have some Dale steak seasoning, salt, onion, um, onion powder, black pepper and garlic powder and a bit of olive oil. And on our rib tips, we have this guys. Wonderful little mesquite rub on our uh, rib tips, along with the uh, granulated onion, garlic, black pepper, and olive oil. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? Oh, oh, forgot on the rib tips. Worcestershire sauce, right? Okay. All right, we're almost ready. Bye. Okay, guys, in addition to those beautiful rib tips and those beautiful wings, we are going to make some collard greens. Now, in my pot here, I have some smoked turkey necks and some smoked turkey tails. Now, funny story. Never knew what a turkey tail was until yesterday, okay? Never ate a turkey tail, honestly, the first time for today. We're going to eat it for the first time today. So my friend made greens uh, uh, yesterday. She called me and told me she made them and told me to come get some. I did. They were absolutely marvelous. So I decided to copy her recipe and I told her that I was going to. It was just too good for me not. I want my own pot. So I am going to put some collard greens in here and let me show you this. That is a turkey tail. Never heard of nor seen in my life before yesterday. And oh, by the way, y'all, I didn't go and get those. She actually had some left and she brought me the raw ones. So I cooked them overnight. And this is what we have. And these are the turkey necks. Wonderful. And I'm going to show you one more of these turkey tails, guys. This is amazing to me because I've never seen them before. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a such thing as a turkey tail. But look at that. That's a big one. Look at there. Right? Okay. I tell you what, the greens that she cooked last night was absolutely amazing. And I want the same thing. So if I need turkey tails and turkey necks to make them, I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to put my greens on in here, guys. We are almost ready to go to that grill. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. And of our veggies, last but not least, we're going to do some corn. Just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on there. And guys, we're going to set this corn on the grill covered with some foil. Okay, guys, there's Papa. Hello. He is getting ready to put that chicken on the fire pit. Let's see if we can get closer. There it is. Looks wonderful already. All right. Did you tell them I'm cooking with black cherry wood? No, but you can tell them. Okay, well, go ahead. I'm cooking with black cherry wood. Normally, I would cook with hickory wood, but I didn't have enough. But I got plenty of black cherry, so, you know, it cooks uh, well it cooks pretty good as well so are you sad about it no you sound sad about it no no i'm not <laughs> i'm not he should be more enthused right guys hey yo 
I'm good. Okay, well, stop acting like you're crying. No, I'm just trying to get this chicken off here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It won't take long for this these chicken wings to cook. Okay, guys, we have that chicken wings, those chicken wings on the grill. And we are going to let those cook. Guys, look at those woods over there. Do you realize we saw a coyote come out of there one time and he was all beat up? Okay, that'll spoil my appetite. Okay, back to the chicken. <laughs> okay, guys, there it is. We're going to let that cook a bit. We will be right back. Okay, guys, we have our chicken on the our chicken wings on the grill. These uh, should take probably 30 minutes or so to cook. Um, I'm not going to drop the rack down low because I want to kind of uh, not charm as bad, you know. Uh, so we'll just leave the rack up. And after, again, this should take about 30 minutes. And after we're done with this, we'll go ahead and put uh, the rib tips on. And uh, Sam's got those cut in small quarters, so they shouldn't. it shouldn't take long for those to cook as well. So uh, just bear with us. And we'll be back. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's flip those wings. How are they looking, Papa? Uh, probably left them on this side a little bit too long, but it'll be all right. Got some hot spots on the grill, so it'll be all right though. Yeah, see that right, like right there. It has Okay, Still look pretty good, huh? Yeah, I know you like yours a little bit on the char side. So burned. Yeah. I like mine burned. Well, have one or two on there that's like that for you. Okay. All right. All Bam. Right. I'm sorry. Do that again. We missed it. Bam. Whack. Oh, that's whack. Bye. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Check out Papa. Flipping those wings again. They are looking amazing. Guys, our fire is dying down. Look at that. We're going to have to put some more wood on there momentarily. Y'all look at Papa. He really think he's doing some. What, you, you doing too much? You can't look up? No. Well, I'm just doing what I do. What's that? I'm just trying to cook you these chicken wings. You trying to cook you those chicken wings? I don't want to. <laughs> Really, me? Yeah. Or you? Well, I probably get my, maybe one and maybe one and a half. You funny. Okay, guys. Popeye's tripping. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. All right, but what you doing? Taking the rib, taking the uh, wings off? Yes. How they look? Uh, we got. So I got some for you because I know you like yours a little bit on the char side, and then I got some for me because I don't really care for mine like that. So okay. we're good to go, you know, but before I put these um, real tips on, I'm going to have to uh, get some more wood because this wood is not, not going to do it. So we kind of burn it on pretty much on out. So. Okay. We'll let them sit for another five minutes or so and we'll be ready to go. Okay. All right. Guys. That's our son. Say hey, Pork. Hi. <laughs> really, that is so lame. You are worse than your daddy with that <laughs> whack dryness on camera. Say hey and be happy. I am happy. Wave again. Oh, let he is so say, whack. Let me just say something. This is a working man. <laughs> Cabinets, floors, anything <laughs> that you need done, he can do it. He doesn't mind crawling underneath crawl spaces. He does it all. And he's great at everything. Best son a father could ever have. Yes. Right here. <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be right back. All right. We're about done with this here. We're going to have to get this going again. So, before it goes out, I'm going to go get some more wood. Maybe two pieces of wood. Okay, guys, he is going to run and get a couple more pieces of wood for the fire before it completely goes out. We'll be right back. 
Okay, guy, Pawpaw is back with the wood. I guess he got three pieces there. And we're going to put that on the fire when we put the rib tips on there. Almost ready? Yeah, pretty much. We'll okay, like, guys. Like little five minutes All right, we're going to give that chicken, guys, just a few more minutes, and we will be right back. Okay, guys, Papa has put about three more pieces of wood on the fire. And I don't know if we said this earlier, but it's black hickory, right? Black cherry. Black cherry. <laughs> May not be a such thing as black hickory. Okay, black cherry, three more logs on the fire, and we are about to put those rib tips on there. Okie dokie. Okay, guys, I forgot to tell you guys, before I put this corn on the fire, I am going to sprinkle a bit of Parmesan cheese on there. It makes a really big difference in your corn on the grill. Okay. All right. We're on our way. Okay, guys. All of our little chicken wings are done. And Papa's taking them off the grill so that we can get those rib tips started. Okay, let us see them, Boop. Really? Can you come over here? Look at that. Yummy. Okay, we're gonna get those rib tips on. Okay, Papa is about to put those beautiful rib tips on. It's a lot of rib tips, guys, so. But they take no time to cook at all. I think the chicken takes more time. But typically, we put these on in about probably 15 minutes, they're done. And I think he's going to lower the rack. Are you going to yes. lower the rack? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, guys. We're going to let him get those rib tips on the grill. We will be right back. Are you almost done? Am I almost done? Mm -hmm. uh, I got maybe half a pan here. But years ago... You know, we chop our rib tips up like this because years ago we went to Memphis and they were selling some rib tips at a concession stand. And just so happened, you know, we, we you know, we bought some. And those rib tips were really good. They were crunchy. And uh, they were just something to snack on. And I kid you not, those were the best rib tips I have, I ever had, you know, with the chart, you know, the chart that's on the side, you know, and season, you know, and then they sprinkle a little season on top of them when they gave them to you. It's a dry rub, a yeah, little dry, dry rub, rub on top. Mm -hmm. And those, I kid you not, those were some of the best rib tips I ever had. They were good. So, since that day, I've always tried to, when I'm cooking out, well, I always have some real tips where I try to emulate um, what they did. I don't know what they did, but, you know, the more I do this, the more I kind of catch up with um, what they did. Well, so, you're doing a good job. They always, they're always really, really good, y'all. So, this is what we're doing. And, um, you know, for those who haven't tried this, try it out. It doesn't take very long to cook these because they're, so, they're cut up into little quarters. And, um... They cook really fast, you know, and then when you cook them, what you do is you sprinkle a little dry rub of your liking on there. And man, I tell you, man, you know, Sam eats these things up. I don't, I mean, she really likes them. So, you know, this is, I'm off. And so this is what I'm going to do. Just cook a couple of these real tips for her. Like I said, I might get two or three, but. Okay, so what you're trying to say without saying it is that all of those rib tips that you're putting on there, I'm going to eat all of those, and you're just going to get one or two. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm so yes. serious. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. But it's okay. It is okay because it's a lie. <laughs> it's okay. So here's the last one, guys. You know, we're going to let those cook. I'm going to drop the rack and let them get a little char on them. 
and then you know flip them over then we'll raise the rack and just let them smoke for a second and we'll be done okay guys we'll be right back did you want to say that no you said, you said. okay okay guys we are about to flip a couple of those rib tips over and guys before uh, off camera we actually put that corn on there i put the uh, parmesan cheese on and we just set it on the fire and it doesn't take long at all once that corn gets heated up and that cheese is melted it is ready to go okay we're gonna flip these over guys it won't be long now we'll be right back okay guys just wanted to give you a close-up shot of those beautiful rib tips look at that how wonderful do they look right man okay won't be long now be right back okay guys those beautiful rib tips are done look at those and papa is about to take them off and yeah, put them gonna, in the pan we're gonna go ahead and take these off and once we take them off we're gonna sprinkle them a little bit with that dry rub and man i'm telling you you ain't never had nothing like it really yeah okay <laughs> all right guys we are about to take these off and we're gonna go upstairs and sprinkle them with our dry rub we will be right back okay guys there are beautiful rib tips we're going to sprinkle them with a bit more of this mesquite rub that we cooked it with and just give it a little shake maybe just a tiny bit more a little shake Okay, guys, we are almost ready to eat. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, take a look at our beautiful finished product. Those are those beautiful rib tips there with our dry rub on them. And those are those yummy, beautiful chicken wings. Looks amazing, doesn't it? I know, I know. Let's slide over. Let me show you what else we have. Check out that corn, people. Yummy, right? my word yummy and we cannot forget those beautiful collard greens with our turkey tails and our turkey necks smoked turkey tails and smoked turkey necks Wes is looking at me really funny but he's gonna eat it look at this look at that is that not wonderful and guys, those turkey necks and those tails are all torn up in those greens. They are wonderful. Perfectly seasoned. Okay, guys, let's make a plate. I'll be back to show it to you. Okay, guys, check out our beautiful spread. Look at that. Oh, my word. Okay, guys, we are about to pig out. Thank you so much for hanging with us. We are about to get ready to eat our wonderful dinner of our chicken wings, our uh, rib tips, uh, our corn with our Parmesan cheese and mesquite rub and those beautiful collard greens. Oh, and a little bit of tomato. Wonderful. Okay, guys, thank you so much. We love you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. See you the next time. Bye.